So it's just about the prize. If it's just about the prize, okay. I mean, you know, it's just about the prize. But if but if the pride is involved with the prize, then we got to fight the best. Come on. And plus, I'm saying you just said it out your own mouth. You just said out your own mouth, not even six months ago. Time to go to 54. It don't matter who it is, a big name. So what's the problem? Mm. Now, um, rumor has it that you bum. Crawford looked like a champion at 54. You bum. Go back and watch the fight. You bum. Go back and watch the fight. We look like genius in there, boy. Box that man to death, boy. You don't know nothing about no boxing, you bum. Bum. <laughs> You 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 know you're answering to a guy named Yeah Okay. <laughs> yeah okay. Bum. Yeah okay. That's the one that get punched in the mouth. Talking about yeah okay, fake tough guys. All right. So check. Go ahead. So check it. Rumor has it that Xander Zayas wants to take the fight. With uh, Virgil Ortiz? Yeah. He need to step up, too, if they ready to let him off the leash. If Top Rank ready to let him off the leash, that's going to be a bang out. That's a That's going to be a bang out. That's, that's going to be a bang out. It's going to be a bang out. I don't know who who you favor. Yo, I like I like Xander's defense better than, than uh, Virgil's defense. Hmm. Mm, okay, okay. I, I gotta I watch think, a little more. Yeah. I think uh I think Virgil might be a little bit more explosive. Yeah. It might be a little bit more explosive, hits a little harder. But I think I think uh for sure yeah. I think Xander Zayas got IQ on him. Yeah. Mm. Zayas, I think, think he, he got, got a better, better IQ. IQ than Virgil. I think I think he could well, do that's more things in there. Well, that's, that's the, like he said, he threw his hat. telling he, me like that. He threw, exactly, exactly, exactly. Now you, now you go up. So one man don't stop no show. He don't want it. Go ahead. Cause he fight at 54 anyway, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He and fight at 54 ranked. anyway. So go ahead. Yeah. So, uh, so, okay. That's exactly right. So then let Boots go on about his business because we already seen that. You already had, so just let him go. We, that's a good fight too. It ain't the one we want because this guy got, he got a lot of hype. The big but fight, we're Mexico is, versus Puerto Rico. Yeah, exactly. And and exactly. you know, you know, us Puerto Ricans, we love our boxing. We were really high on Xander Zayas, and this is a test that we needed to see as Puerto Ricans to see if he is that guy for us or not. We're looking for the exactly. next Puerto Rican champion. That's what we're doing. You know, the especially okay. at that at the weight class. You know, those nice weight classes, the welterweights, the middleweights, like that's where everyone gets yeah. all the love. You know what I'm saying? So if Xander yeah. passes the, the Virgil or T sex, do you know what that does for him? Exactly. He's the he, put him he's, in... he's the guy. He he, he can go around, he can that'll be he he can he can he can move into that direction. He definitely moved into that direction be the Virgil Ortiz. He definitely in that direction. It's some it's some killers at 54, though. It's some killers at 54. I know. It's some killers at 54. That's some killers. So uh still got Lubin. Can't forget about Lubin, man. Can't. Then you got Mont then, then you got Ramos, huh? You can't. No, you can't. You're right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, then you got Ramos. Ramos about to fight. Who Ramos about to fight? Laura? Fuck Ramos about to fight. I I no. He's Little about to Ramos. fight somebody good, yeah. He about to fight somebody good. Yeah. 54, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I know who you're talking about. Um, Jesus Ramos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the yeah. one that, that, that beat him. Mono. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, like I say, there, there's some good guys at 54, man. And uh, Boots, that's what I'm saying. It just, it just disappoint me. I, you let all them people, and then he be acting so nonchalant, like, like, he oh, don't know, man. He's fighting uh, Jason Rosario. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He should fuck Rosario up. Yeah. He should fuck Rosario. He should fuck Rosario up. Rosario's coming off of that draw with uh, Jared Hurd. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, he he should fuck uh, him up, and then he should get the he should get the uh, rematch with the other fella. That's called uh, Benavidez and Morel card. Which one is? Oh yeah, yeah. them two. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. The, that's a good little card. I mean, they making it. They trying to push it. Plus, you know, PBC mess with them. You know what I mean? But Mono decent. Mono a decent fighter. Mono a decent fighter. And Rosario, he was the world champ, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So we ain't got to pay him as much as we got to pay these guys. So you got to get it. You can't pay everybody. Mm -hmm. What do you think? <laughs> what, what What do you think about uh, Xander Zayas and um, Virgil Ortiz? What do you think about the fight? I never, I'm not a real uh, big, uh, like a rather study Xander Zayas like mm -hmm. that. But, you know, they've been top ranked doing a good job of building them. Mm -hmm. And I just applaud his willingness to step out of the pack. That's what I'm talking about. I applaud his willingness to step outside the pack, you know. And, again, you know, it's true that, you know, sometimes people, you know, you got to take care of yourself. And we not nobody is disputing that, you know. But. If you properly compensated and the competition is there, you should take it. That's what we want to see. And they sh and, and if you're doing that, you should be accurately compensated by the people that's throwing the show. Mm. Mm. I, I like it. I like it. now. Do you, what do you think? Do you think that um, you know Boots not taking this fight? Right? Do you feel like his next opponent like? Who, 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 at what caliber, if it's not, say it's not for a unification. Listen, Boots is dead. He don't take this fight, he's dead. He's dead. Like that? Dead. You get a chance at a lifetime to glow up. He's dead. Who cares? We gonna watch Brian Norman fight though, cause that's gonna be entertaining. Cause Brian Norman gonna bring that drama. Okay, it's a title fight. We gonna see. We gonna watch the fight, but he beat Brian Norman. He is. It's not nothing for us. And I'm not. And Brian Norman a good fighter. I'm just saying it's not nothing in the way of him. I mean, you know. I mean. Brian Norman got everything to beat. If Brian Norman win, then it's great for Brian Norman. You feel me? He didn't beat the hype train down. And now he got a bigger name. And now he can fight the uh, uh, Stanionis. Or he can go for his undisputed dream because he can make 47. He probably about a 47-pounder. And, you know, I think he can make 47 comfortable. So, shit, you know. And then he becomes something. And then, you know, with all that, I mean, you know, I think Brian Norman, shoot, he a country boy. You know, he can get some people behind him. If they match him right, I don't know. Mm. But Boots, he dead. If he don't take this fight, he dead. Because who else he going to fight? Unless it's Fundora. If he fight Barrios, Barrios look vulnerable. Bro, we don't want to see you against Barrios. No, but you know what's now, crazy? Now we could have had Virgil Ortiz. I got, a better, I got a better thing for you. I got something better for you. Eddie Hearn, they have sent Barrios an offer. But guess what? Hold on. You said what now? Eddie Hearn has sent uh, Barrios an offer. But guess what? What happened? It's uh, not necessarily for Boots. It's actually for Connor Ben. Oh, makes sense. Makes sense. Barrios look uh, fucking vulnerable. And to get his get his man a world championship, yes, yes, get his position his man for a world championship. But then again, ah, but then so you gonna position him for boots for unification if a, he potentially win. But you think Conor Ben gonna want to enter into to a unification right with boots if he win? Probably not. He gonna want to milk that title. He's just dead. Boots, I wouldn't even worry about that because, like I say, Connor Ben is nobody, bro. He got a name and you can make some money on, but he's his he about to explode in a second. He gonna be nothing once they he really the hype. 
Oh man, he he really the hype. She he really the hype, so he dead in the water. For real. Boots, he ain't take no, he was all talk, all barking, no bite. I'ma go up tonight. I'm gonna tonight. I'm gonna talk a little shit. Yeah. Now, do you feel like he's gonna have like the future of a like a Demetrius Andres type? You know, two division champion, that type of vibe. Like obviously his his entertain he's more entertaining. Then uh, you know, um, Boo Boo for sure. Andre, yeah, yeah. Well, Andre, they didn't give him a chance. Andre was avoided and kept out. He for didn't. All his he didn't time. explode though. He didn't explode at all. I know because, like I say, he was like a Regan down. He like a Shakur. They don't got a lot of. They except Regan down could punch. Now that was different, but they not that exciting. But they the best. And them boys was avoided, and and Andre was avoided, so he didn't get a chance. People are trying to get this man a thousand and one chance, and he will not take them. He will not take them. That's a difference. And and his guys, the belief or the the machine behind them, and and I mean, you got to bring the product out at some point. You got to test it out for at some point. Mm. Stephen Falcon, thank you for the two dollars. He don't like boots. He biased. You know that. How am I biased when the man don't want to take the fight? What am I supposed to say? I'm asking you. What what should he do then? Why would why shouldn't he take the fight? Give me two good reasons why he shouldn't take the fight. Was it, That's what, did, it I'm not, I did it surprise you that it didn't that he didn't take the fight? Yes, bro. Yes. The shit exploded yesterday. Yes. It's a yes, it definitely surprised me. I'm thinking, I'm thinking he liked that. They keep telling me you keep I mean, how long you gonna keep telling me that the man liked that? I'm, I'm a I, maybe I'm wrong. Shit. Okay. I, I even give him credit for even taking them punches. I said, I don't give a fuck about him getting hit. I mean, I'm just talking. I'm just saying when you comparing them to Crawford, that's all I'm saying. But 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 with these other guys, he can get away with it, you know. She is, and he doing his thing. So if he like that, like he said, and it's out his own mouth. Excuse me, at his own mouth. I need to go up to 54. I'm gonna have a lot better pop. It's on video. He just said it in his hometown. I gotta have a lot more pop. It's time to go to 54. And I want to, who they asked him, who was it? He said, it don't matter. I just want a guy with the top name. That's all I want is a guy with a top name. I thought Virgil Ortiz qualified for a guy with a, as, with a top name. So, I mean, I mean, I'm not saying nothing. Me personally, since I don't have no dog in the fight and I'm not necessarily personally a fan, I don't care if he take the fight or not. I would applaud him and respect him if he did, but I don't care that he don't take the fight. That's on him. You know, he lived his own life. He want to live like that, but all the guys I read about, all the guys I study, all the guys that I think about, and all the guys that these guys, and we ain't even talking about no money. That don't even, the money ain't even mean the money. So, I mean, if you don't got enough guts and enough uh, pride and in the love of the sport or competition to step it up and make a heck of a fight with a popular fighter. That's on him. I don't give a damn. 